In this video, I'm going to show you the adaptive headlights and the LED headlights on the Model X. And I believe this uh, feature will also be on the new Model S, uh, the, the facelift Model S that comes out nowadays. But I am now back on Redwood Road uh, near uh, Oakland and I'm going to show you here. If you go to, uh, well, in the, in the control settings here, go to control. And, oh, there's actually some cars here. Yeah, not very frequent that I get and I see cars over here. But this is a good place to test out the light because it's dark here and almost no cars. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, 9:30 in the evening. But you see here, if you go here and then go to settings, you have this one: adaptive headlights. I have switched it on now. Uh, actually, let me just switch it off, and I'm going to show you something. So if you switch it off, and if I turn. The steering wheel like this nothing happens right the adaptive is off uh, let's switch it on I'm gonna show you how it works I had to figure figure it out a little bit but <laughs> by the way yes sometimes you tend to see like um, uh, Justin Bieber here but I don't listen to Justin Bieber it's just that whatever song I pause will be stuck like that until I play it again so actually let me play this one it has been for a while now, and uh, yeah, you see it switched to something else. Uh, she okay, it just happened to be Justin Bieber. Oh well, whatever. But uh, back on topic, um, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, no, I was expecting uh, the the adaptive headlights to turn like the E sixty one BMW I had before. The, the headlights actually physically turn and I read that this one also has adaptive uh, light but it doesn't turn you see I tried to uh, okay maybe I should switch on the low light here so I, you can see better when I turn the steering wheel nothing happens but you probably notice something there on the edge there yeah so I'm gonna switch off the dome light again to so you can see it clear so when I turn to the left Okay, this is like the the the, the straight position, right? Uh, and uh, if I turn to the left, you see, there is one LED light up there, and then further I get another one, and then the third one. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it faster now. You see there? But this one, this side isn't too interesting. Well, while I'm doing this, you see that the, the high beam doesn't change at all. That is actually a bit disappointing because on the previous video you saw that it didn't really help on curvy roads. Um, at least when you're having some speed, uh, you want you actually want the the high beams to turn. They don't, they don't turn, unfortunately. We can actually switch it off. Uh, I can also show you the difference between low beam and high beam here. Yeah, you, this video is going to be about the light. See, low beam. High beam, low beam. I can just do this then, yeah. See, that's the difference. The high beam is actually pretty strong, yeah. But we will see, see still how strong it will be in Europe because Europe has some, EU has some weird regulations. So, um, the, this, the Model X, just like the Model S, doesn't have headlight washers. And in, uh, oh, in car, yeah, let, let's not try to confuse them too much. And there's some regulations, uh, so if it doesn't have headlight washers, they, they, there's a limit on how powerful the, the lights can be. I think it was like 2,000 lumens or something. So, um, yeah, it could be that when it's already been, the, the Model S has already been nerfed uh, instead of 35 watt, uh, well, the, the, the old lights, you know, it's only 25 watt. Yeah, so you see, yeah, all right, back to the adaptive headlight, yeah, and then, now you can see the difference between low light and low beam, high beam, yeah. But back to the adaptive, adaptive headlight, okay, over here, this is better show you, okay, if I turn the steering wheel to the left now, there, was one light, there, that's another one, and that's the third one, yeah, so, um, actually, let me just show you from this angle instead, oh shit, the screen is kind of, dim the screen, okay, so you see, just gonna turn like this so you get an idea so well actually it helps yeah and also another feature is that if I 
turn on the uh, left signal light or the indicator turning left, this will happen. See, it turns on all all the three extra ones to the left. And same stuff for the right one, of course. See here? Yeah. So that one is actually pretty useful. I like it because when you want to turn left, you want to see where you're going. So this one is pretty nice. Yeah. And again, let's do this. Okay. Do this. Uh-huh. And I guess you could, I don't know, if I can go back here, you can actually see when I turn them left and right like this. Yeah. And also, if you put the car in reverse, both, I mean, all of them will, you see, it will light up all of them. Uh, probably to get better overview or something. So if I put it in drive again, shut off, and then put it in reverse, yeah, all of them goes on. So that was also the case for the Model S. Uh, the Model S, oh, shit, hold on, let me switch off the door light here, off, okay. The Model S, as far as I know, if from what I remember, uh, it only has one extra LED and also the LED was placed low uh, so for many of you guys who have seen my uh, my videos video shots when I like you know drive out from a supercharger you always say that uh, one of my fog lights are out but that is not the fog light it is the adaptive LED the curve light something so yeah this I will say it is an improvement yeah it is better than the, the, the old Model S but it has some limitations, like you have seen in the previous video, when you drive um, on curvy roads, this one won't help much because it only lights up like 10-15 meters uh, ahead of you, where I want to have like 100 meters of stuff ahead of me. I want the whole cone, the whole, the whole I want this one to, to turn left and right, you know, and it's static. So, um, oh yeah. Here we go again, I can show you again then. Yeah, I don't know how many times you want to see this. But this is the adaptive headlights on the Model S and X. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> another car is coming. It's probably thinking like, she, what is this guy doing, huh? What the f... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, uh, that's it. I know, so, oh yeah, by the way, by the way, I, I try to f play around with the auto high beam also because what did I mention it? Uh, in in the E61 BMW E61, in order for for the the adaptive headlight to to work, you have to have auto high beam on, otherwise it won't work. So I also try that. What? Th this is this is weird because the, <laughs> the high beam doesn't switch on now. How am I supposed to get the high beams on? I have it on. I have it automatic now, you see. Uh, but it's not switched on. And this is why I prefer to use uh, manual uh, high beam. I don't want to use the automatic one. Uh, yeah. But, um, oh, yeah, that, no, now it's on. Yeah. But I tried that with this one and still I can't get it to move because, yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's no. <laughs> There's probably no other way. I mean, the, the, the extra LEDs are over here, yeah. And and for the high beam and low beam, they are like, they are placed in the front there, yeah. All right, all right, so uh, I guess uh, that's it for now then. Uh, by the way, um, another thing I forgot to show you is the fog lights. So uh, while we are still here, and uh, yeah, um, we can sh I can show you the fog lights. Uh, so you see there in the display here, the fog lights are located low here. See, so that it's not the part of the LED uh, array up here. So if I switch on the fog lights, you will see that it lights up the lower part. Uh, and yeah, I don't know how useful that is because. Uh, in Norway, it's actually illegal to use the fog light with, in combination with um, low beam. So, in or if you want to use uh, fog light, you have to use high beam like this. Yeah, but actually, then <laughs> that's actually pretty funny because uh, in the Mol X, if you put on the high beams, you see here, that's low beam, that's high beam, that's low beam, high beam, then the fog light switches off 
So if I do this, nothing happens. All right, but anyway, if we switch on the the rear, I mean the the low beam again, and the fog light, you see uh, we still have adaptive uh, headlights. So let me show you here again on this side. I think it's better best to show on this side. So when I turn the steering wheel now, you still have the adaptive. Yeah, because that is placed higher. See. So I guess I guess if you wanna have like the whole. What the what the Norwegians say? If you wanna have the hele jävla juletre, uh, I mean uh, the whole freaking Christmas tree oh, um, switch on, then yeah, you need to put on your uh, fog lights and uh, and this one. So let me see again. I'm gonna show you here. Let um, me switch hands. It's fog lights on and off. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a rear fog light. You can actually see it in the rear there. That was a rear fog light. Yeah, that's that's red. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. I don't know if uh, I've shown enough. I mean, some of you guys are probably really interested in this. Look. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, yeah. I have to watch it over again then, otherwise I can't sleep tonight. Yeah, I don't know. I think and this will this this will probably apply for a Model S as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's it then.